Welcome back to their best laptop setups video. This is episode number 13, just in time for Halloween, but there's actually no setups in this video that are themed for Halloween, but it lined up with the month. And I wanna thank all of you, all of you, for taking the time to submit your laptop setups. And if you're enjoying it, please continue hitting the like and subscribe button because it's helping the series out. On top of that, congratulations to you, Colin. You won last week's episode, you had a crazy setup. You're getting $75. And yeah, this, this episode's a little bit simpler. It's a a little bit cleaner so i hope you guys enjoy it the first setup comes from anika and this is his work from home desk it took him a while to put together but he thinks it's there he uses it mostly for writing scripts for work listening to music video calls and gaming with friends he's asking me for my advice but honestly anika i think you did a pretty darn good job considering how tiny this space is i love the fact that you're using this old wooden desk it looks a little beaten up which gives the whole setup a little bit of character the fact that you took the time to create custom wood speaker stands and wrist rests made of a catch of wood is a big plus in my books. I think the wood on wood looks fantastic together. Like this is a tiny desk and I'm actually very shocked of how neatly organized it is considering how much stuff you have on top of it. Now the laptop of choice is the Lenovo S540. It's a Ryzen 7 4800U processor, but he took the laptop and placed it in a laptop stand behind the monitor. There's really no other place to put it unless he puts it underneath, but he has his monitor floating, which he's using a monitor stand to hold it up. It looks like there's a little bit of RGB in the background. He has a microphone attached to an arm. It's a uh, Razer microphone, the Siren Mini, and then he has his Canon 700D peeking up in the top right hand corner. Now, I love the keyboard. It's a Royal Kludge RK84. We've seen a bunch of them in our previous videos. And the speakers of choice are the Edifier R1280DB speakers. These are great, affordable studio speakers. The second setup comes from Arjun. He's from Mumbai, India, and I love the look of this. It's simple, it's clean, it's minimalistic. We've seen a lot of setups like this, but it's unique in the sense that he kind of customized it to work for him. There's a little bit of color on there. He has a couple plants and some of the things that motivate him. Look, I like this one because there's a story behind this. Arjun has a fantastic wife. She went out and bought him an M1 MacBook Air so that he could do his job. He works from home about four days a week, and he uses this setup for a bunch of different tasks like spreadsheets, graphic design, and a bit of video editing, which is perfect for an M1 MacBook Air. So let's give a little applause to Arjun's wife, okay? On top of that, he's using a IKEA desk. It's the Alex desk, which he has built-in cable management compartment so that everything stays nice and neat. The MacBook is placed underneath a shelf which is a great way to hide it instead of just leaving it on your desk. And it also provides a little nook to store other knickknacks that you use on a daily basis. The monitor is a big 27 inch ASUS ProArt display. This monitor is great if you're a graphic designer because the color accuracy and color saturation is perfect. The mouse, you guessed it. We have at least 4,000 of them in every single episode. The MX Master 3. And the keyboard, we have about 9,000 in every episode. It's the Keychron K2 hot swappable version, which he decided to change the keys to a black and white theme. And finally, the speaker of choice is the UE Boom 2, which is a decent Bluetooth speaker that he uses instead of proper studio speakers or stereo speakers. The third setup comes from Luis Fernando, and he is from Mexico City. I love the look of his setup. It looks super classy. He personally works for a publishing house that provides online courses or classes rather here in Canada and other places in Latin America. I love the look of this. I love the story behind it because his dad works for a furniture company and he took the time to build his son a beautiful custom desk. There's tons of space on this. I love the color choice. It's kind of like a walnut. And then the accent pieces, the background, the cabinets on top all mesh nicely together. He's using two laptops. The first one is a Dell Latitude on the left-hand side. It's a 7400 with an i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's connected to a docking station. And then on the right-hand side, he has an HP X360 convertible with a Core i7, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and a 500 gigabyte SSD. One laptop is in like a vertical stand. The other one is in a traditional laptop tray. Now, because there's so much space on his desk, it's really not that big of a deal, but if you ever wanted to clear up more space, you could definitely move those laptops around. He has a Huawei MateView GT 34 inch curved display. So that explains why his laptop stayed closed. He just has so much screen real estate to utilize. And guess what guys? He has a Logitech MX Keys keyboard. We haven't seen too many of those, but what we have seen 
is the MX Master 3 because this guy is using one as well. He also has an XP Pen Star 640 graphic tablet that he mainly uses for writing during his online classes. He's using a Logitech C920 webcam. I actually have one right beside me. And he has a Blue Yeti microphone with a blue compass arm, HyperX Cloud Pro X wired headphones, which is connected to his Yeti mic that he uses for online meetings. And then he also has HyperX Cloud Stinger core wireless headphones when he wants to be free of cords and to listen to music or just chill online. The chair is awesome. I have this chair too. It's the Herman Miller Embody. Super expensive, but well worth the investment because it's one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat on. The fourth setup comes from Gian you i hope i pronounced your name right he's from malaysia i'm loving these malaysian setups they're clean they're simple and they're effective this is a little toy i'm not gonna lie i think the thing that's throwing me off the most is the monitor like you have this big 29 inch lg monitor on top of a little teeny tiny monitor stand i think something wider would give uh, more depth to the space or placing your monitor on a monitor arm the laptop of choice is the macbook pro m1 which is sitting on a laptop stand i think that would be better utilized in an actual kind of vertical position or placed underneath your desk just because your monitor is taking up so much space but I do love the cleanliness of this. He's not using a proper speaker setup, but he does have a Bluetooth Marshall Emberton just below the monitor. He has one of those moon lights to the left to give him some light, a little character to the left of that. And the keyboard of choice is the RK61 keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard, also very popular in these laptop setups. And I think he's using an Apple Magic Mouse, a black one to be exact. And the final setup comes from Batterish. He too happens to be from India and he calls this his clean and minimal laptop setup definitely clean. I don't think it's minimal just because you have a lot going on, but you have a lot going on in a very good way. Instead of having the typical white surgical setup, there's a lot of life here. You have two different shelves in different layers holding all of your accessories, very well organized. Then you have these plants hanging down, adding life to your setup. That's so important when you're working from home. You want to feel like there's a little bit of the outside world part of your daily routine. You have this little accent piece, which is a plumbing pipe hanging from the side of the monitor with an Edison bulb. I love that. It looks super cool. And then your laptop of choice is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop, which is more than powerful for general productivity and even some light gaming. Now you do have this connected to the monitor. You don't remember the exact link or name for it, but it's called the Think Center Tiny in One 24 inch Gen 3 monitor. And I love the keyboard you're using. You know, it goes with that light and steel plumbing pipe. It's the Gear Key B Retro Typewriter, which is a wireless keyboard. Now you're not using speakers on your desk, which is totally cool, but instead you're using Sony noise canceling wireless headphones. And then you have a bunch of RGB strips to give it a little bit of background light. You have a clock, which is from Ikea, and the desk is built from a local carpenter, which you say is from a dead tree. And that's awesome. I love how you're trying to save the environment and using stuff that's already dead instead of cutting down a tree yourself. So that wraps up episode number 13 of the best laptop setups. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you're interested in submitting yours, there'll be instructions in the description down below. Also, don't forget to vote. Hop onto my Discord server and vote for your favorite setup there. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.